Dang, I can't believe this sucker took 30 minutes to rebuild. Are you just trying to vacuum? No, I just need to wash the truck. <laughs> dude, we are moving so fast with this stuff, dude. It's kind of scary, man. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the Goon Squad Garage, and what we're gonna try to do is rebuild this 2022 Ford F-250 trimmer all in one video and the key is we're gonna try so if it doesn't work out you're gonna get a couple videos but you know what it's gonna be absolutely epic and the first thing that we got to do is take this sucker apart so let's just go ahead bring in some tools and dive right into it What kind of wash you gonna go with? Just do a basic wash, full body wash. That's exactly what we want, the full body wash, right? <laughs> yeah. Are you just trying to vacuum? No, I just need to wash the truck. You can go in there like that? Yeah. All right. Buckle up. Yeah, y'all have fun. Thank you. <laughs> Dang, dude. Are you kidding me? Look how clean this sucker is, dude. Dude, that's... Man, we should have did the Dulux. Let's well, go we, back through it. We probably would have been covered in foam with the Dulux, dude. That would have been crazy, <laughs> The man. basic $10, dude. This thing is shining. It had a little bit of dust on it, but we had to clean it up to continue this process. Dude, and it had to cool down. It's really hot today. Dude, that's that's better than a water park. You know what I mean? I take guarantee your, you. Take the doors off. Take your kids to the car wash. That's the best thing That's ever. That's a new dude. trend right there. <laughs> just, do, just do the basic wash, not the deluxe. Yeah, it, it's a little bit wet, but not bad. 
It oh. left like a, I think it had like a wax. Cause look at that. Oh, that's the dust that was still in the seats. That just on the started. inside, it actually cleaned so it out. So we needed that. We really needed that. I think right we should there. take off those doors as well. Dude, those doors, everything. Just go through it. <laughs> We are absolutely tearing apart this F-250 right here and apparently it's built for tough, but you know what? It ain't enough. It's coming apart way too easy, but we actually love it because look at this. We tore this sucker apart in a matter of seconds. I mean, we popped off the bed, some front end components, the windshield, the back broken glass over here and back here. Look how filthy it is, dude. We might have to run the it through wash, the car dude. wash in reverse, dude. That's what I was about to say, man. We need to knock that dust off the frame, man. And look at that. We can remove more glass, better interior wash dude, as well, dude. the windshield gone, that's going to be awful, But dude. we'll probably worry about that a little bit later. And as for that windshield, we use the fancy tools to remove it because it's perfect. It's undamaged, original, and we got it out perfectly, no problem. As for the rear over here, you made something up, and it worked amazing, dude. dude. it's probably the best tool ever. It's a razor blade welded on the tip of that tool, which I've seen that on TikTok and it actually works amazing dude, man. Dude it cuts through stuff and that's just the greatest invention ever right there. I love that right there but anyways guys it's time to keep on moving and the main reason why we're tearing stuff apart is to try to get at this whole entire bed side or cab side right here or aperture panel whatever you want to call it and we got to pop this sucker off and it's held on by a bunch of rivets which I don't know how Ford got away with that, it's dude. It's a Coke can, man. Coke can. <laughs> it's pretty strong, though, I got to say. But anyways, we got to remove some trim on the top, the bottom, the inside right there, and then we'll be ready to start popping stuff off.
guys, so there you have it. We finally popped this entire side off this F-250, and that right there was super simple. Since everything is aluminum, that belt sander just ate right through those rivets, and this thing just pretty much just slapped right off for the most part. We did, however, had to cut it up here because it goes underneath the roof, and we don't know how to do that. I was thinking that we may have to pop the roof off, but luckily we cut it, and we figured out later that I think we can get to some of these rivets up underneath here. We just have to pop that headliner off, but look at this, man. This is just Ooh. insane. And I actually brought a magnet because I was like, dang, this all looks aluminum. And that is all aluminum. So this whole shell is just a bunch of aluminum just pieced together. Dude, dude that's crazy. this must be a super light truck because, dude. you know what I mean? It's all aluminum. Good Other trucks fuel. are still, yeah. Yeah, good on fuel. I was thinking that the inside would at least be still. But you know what? That's probably why it off-roaded so good. You know, it glided over everything, dude, man. It's a light truck. <laughs> I'm telling you, that might be the reason. But... Hey, there is some damaged components underneath this skin, and it looks like it's super easy to fix, yeah, too. Yeah, so this is where the door hinges actually bolt on. They're kind of like wallered out. They just got bent whenever it got sideswiped. So you could technically fix this, but since we already ordered this piece just in case, it's it'll be way easier to replace. I mean, we've pretty much got the rivets already out. We'll just slap a new piece on there and not worry about that. And the only thing damaged here is this little piece right here, which is super simple. We'll just push it up a little bit, and that's it. The new piece should be able to just get slapped on and this whole rebuild video should be a good thing dude, dude. i think we're gonna accomplish it all in one video because we have all the parts in at the dealership dude, that's dude. insane ford is awesome on their parts it literally took like three to four days and all the parts arrived which is just insane that's gonna make this whole thing possible so i say we go ahead hop into one of the trucks because we got a lot of parts head to the dealership and pick everything up Check this out guys. So we finally got all the parts to repair this F-250 right here. We cracked everything open and look at this. We got the whole entire cab side right here. That's gonna be awesome to just slap that on. And also we got the inner structure pillar piece right here. That sucker is nice and thick, but yet yeah, aluminum right there. Also we got the bedside right here and we got a bunch of bedside components. These are like inner structure pieces and we got a fender right there. But before we could actually start slapping any of this stuff on, what we gotta do is basically remove this whole entire interior. So mainly we wanna remove this headliner because we still gotta remove some other metal up here. And also I think you gotta access it from the inside. And then after that, we'll probably go ahead and pop out the seats and the whole interior, because look at this, they need to be repaired anyways. And we got something special for that interior. Super exciting stuff, dude, I can't wait. To have this sucker just fully just repaired, which it looks like it'll be in this video, dude. No, that's gonna be crazy. I'm like thinking about it. It's gonna be wild because we've never done this before, but we're moving as fast as we can. Yes, sir. And the most important thing is just to have the parts. So I think we're good on parts. But anyways, let's go ahead, dive into this interior, and then we'll start slapping on some parts here soon.
guys, so check this out. So we removed the rest of the interior, completely just gutted it for now. I mean, we don't have to remove anything else. The seats were the main thing and the headliner because we were able to get to those rivets up there, remove the rest of that side that was stuck under there. And also we removed the old pillar piece and we already slapped on our first brand new part with a brand new pillar. And that just, I think we ran out of, uh, you My know, scripts. clamps, man. We made a little ladder right here, dude. Dude, we got to get some more. I mean, but we definitely just got it clamped for now. We're going to put so much more rivets all the way throughout once we get a side piece on because they all go together, right? Yeah, together. We did it original, though. We did the two blind rivets right here. How it says, um, I think it came with like instructions exactly how to install this. So we put all the original screws back in, these two blind rivets, and then we just did this for extra. That way it's nice and sealed. And here in a little bit, we're going to probably pop these off once it dries just a little bit and then we're gonna start test fitting our whole side and prepping it yeah and also we're gonna try to run to the dealership and hopefully they have the rivets that we need uh because we're out of these right here and that's that's the ones we need right there yeah those long ones. so we only got a few probably like 10 of these we need probably like 40 or something like this so we're gonna go uh check around town because that's the most important thing we can't just keep on moving without these i mean we can but we want to slap this side on today as well dude. Exactly. we want to finish it off we want to paint it today dude honestly start wet sanding and painting dude <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right around the corner oh but we still got to repair the bed that should be simple as well dude. yeah but we're gonna paint it in steps you know we're probably gonna paint yeah. the cab first and then we'll the bed and then the doors and this thing is gonna be done dude it's gonna be dude, crazy dude i love ford <laughs> let's go do it Check this out guys. So we finally got this whole entire side completely installed. And I gotta say it turned out absolutely amazing. I guarantee you once this is all painted, you'll never know that this was replaced right here. I mean, we got it down to original specs. We went to the Ford dealership and we were able to find these self-piercing rivets right here. And this whole entire roll was like 500 bucks, which is kind of insane. But you know what, we had to have it. And look at this, that is just beautiful. All those rivets right there, they just look original. We got the panel bond back there and also, we had to throw some regular rivets in areas where that dent fix tool was not able to reach. And that's what the specs actually call for. Same on the inside in the roof area right there and up front. Dude, we are moving so fast with this stuff, dude. It's kind of scary, man. Dude, it's crazy. I mean, but this is the positive about aluminum panels yeah. and having a rivet gun because that yes. is just a plus, dude. dude. Welding would have sucked, dude. Where is that tool right there, dude? I want to give a huge shout out We don't even to need you. that tool right now, man. We don't. Forget about it. But anyways, it's right here, actually. He did fix, man. They actually came through with this right here. This makes everything so much faster, so much easier, and it makes it so just clean. So huge shout out to Dent Fix, guys. If you wanna just repair your stuff with ease and with beauty, that's the way to go right Get there. you one of those, Exactly, dude. but anyways, it is time to actually move on to test fitting our doors. So we already picked some doors up a while back from the junkyard. We got them like hidden over there. The only thing that we need right now is actually some hinges because I believe ours are like bent up or something. So we need some that are not bent. So hopefully we can make it to the junkyard in time. They're probably about to close in about literally like 15 minutes. So let's run over there right quick, get some hinges hopefully and test fit our doors.
This thing looks almost done, man. Are you kidding me? Look how good everything lined up. We got the doors on. The gaps are just perfect with just minor adjustment man Dude, minor adjustment after we went and grabbed those hinges man we slapped them on and everything just basically fell right into place the fender went back on there straightened all that out straightened that hood out flattened it out with some body work right there and this thing's ready for some primer and pretty much ready for some paint. dude literally all you gotta do is sand it and take it in the paint booth and it'll be beautiful pretty much we rebuilt the cab i mean we rebuilt right the truck I or mean, the, the body tr the truck is rebuilt it's just without paint work but now we need to rebuild the actual bed. bed of this truck so once we get that bed rebuilt this thing will be 100 percent rebuilt dude i think that's what we should focus on next is probably just fixing that bed up it should be super simple i think it's going to be easier than replacing oh, this side you 100%. know what i mean i think it'll take us a couple hours i'm thinking about two to three hours which that's a stretch but i think we can knock it out because that didn't take too long it's just you know it was our first time but the bed now now that we know how to do those rivets it'll be a little faster yes sir and also what we need to do to this body i think uh, before we paint or after actually we sand, we need to throw some seam sealer, cover up all those rivets, make it yeah. nice and pretty. Yeah, seam sealer over there, some in the front, on the sides, and this thing will be ready to go into that paint booth. But I say we just hop on that bed, fix it up, and have this truck completely rebuilt. <laughs> but Literally. two hours to the second right here we finally got our brand new bedside on and Ooh. i gotta say man that was pretty simple dude Dude, that was the easiest thing we've ever done honestly we could have probably got it knocked out under an hour under an hour if we weren't recording and if we didn't take some snack breaks you and know some what I mean? bathroom breaks just a bunch of <laughs> yeah. like, a few little breaks here and there but man it is just Beautiful, beautiful man it's beautiful we got all the rivets exactly where the factory says where to put them and then we got a couple blind rivets up top got these right here dude look at that man that just looks oem got a brand new wheelhouse panel or wheel panel in there got everything just squared away man it just basically slapped right in its original spot and it looks better than oem man dude that looks <laughs> so clean literally it's gonna be so easy to paint right here because we're not gonna paint the whole bed all we got to do is just make a tape line right there yeah. and on the back and just this side is getting painted and it's it's gonna just be a perfect match perfect dude. match so that's that's gonna be the awesome thing about painting this truck is because there's good lines to tape up you know there's not like everything seamless like the lamborghini or like yep. the you know some of the cars this is gonna be perfect to tape up tape up right here and have this thing painted in a, like a day or two you know what maybe I mean? even tonight who knows yeah well, we're <laughs> gonna go ahead and start prepping so that's the next major step we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna move back onto this cab because we need to paint this cab that's gonna be the first thing so what we're gonna do is pop these doors off off. go ahead spray some primer on the hood go ahead and start sanding the whole inside the whole entire side and the hood and the fender because we're going to leave that on and just spray it all in together and that's going to be the best way so i mean we don't need to waste any time let's go ahead and sand this sucker up and throw it in the paint booth
guys, I think we just rebuilt this sucker right here all in one video. I mean, as far as all the damage stuff goes, we literally replaced it, put it together. We finished all the bodywork pretty much. It just needs some color. So I think technically we did rebuild this thing in one video. What do you say, dude? dude? I agree 100%. I mean, that is it right there, man. That was a lot of work put in one video. I mean, I think that was super epic as well. You that know what I mean? That was pretty dang epic right there. And literally, I think there's gonna be one more video on this truck. We're gonna paint it. We just decided to save it for the next one because not only is it getting a paint job, it's gonna be completely different guys than stock. I can't wait to show you guys all that's gonna be coming here really soon. But anyways, what we got knocked out was sanding this whole entire bedside or cap side right here. Also the fender and the hood. And then we went ahead and threw on the whole entire bed and the doors right there. Just kind of just see how everything lines up one more time. And also it's gonna be a lot easier to sand it with it right there. But dude, this is pretty insane right here. We were moving, this is the fastest we've ever moved on any build, but I guess it's just because we really put our mind to it. We really wanted to get it done in one video. So we kind of didn't film every little detail, but we filmed like the major stuff getting done to this thing. So I guess uh, you guys are just gonna let us know if you like that right there. But anyways, before we actually um, wrap this video up, there's one more thing that we want to throw onto the front end of this truck. Let's go ahead and crack it open and show you guys what it is. Alrighty guys, so we basically rebuilt this truck right here in 30 minutes because that's how long this video is basically gonna be. But look at this, we literally got everything done as far as all the damage stuff goes. And of course, you already know we had to throw on this front end right here because we got some Morimoto stuff on this F-250, which I love the headlights. I mean, that looks so much better than the original ones. And also look at this grill right here. We got some LEDs integrated into original looking grill. Huge shout out to Morimoto. We run that on pretty much all of our trucks and it just makes it look so much more aggressive. We didn't wire it up because this stuff is coming off here really soon. But in the next video, guys, we're gonna have this sucker completely painted. We got a bunch of epic stuff that we're gonna throw onto it that you guys haven't seen yet and we haven't even mentioned just yet. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Here soon, we will probably be revealing a brand new build, but you know what? We gotta finish some stuff up. So definitely drop all your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.